All right, YouTube, what is up, guys? So, I just got out of Best Buy right now. I got something that I really need to tell you. Give me one second. Um, so, if you don't know, uh, what I've been using to make my videos for the last year and a half is I've been using a 2015 MacBook Pro to actually edit my videos. Um, now, something happened the other day is that my MacBook Pro actually completely crashed. And because of that, I actually sold it to someone else after I fixed it. And I realized I actually needed to buy something new. And I have to admit, man, after coding for about two years and being a software developer, one thing that I have to honestly admit is that this computer that I'm using right now is honestly the best computer I've ever used for programming, the best computer I've ever used for editing, the best computer for everything. So what I actually got is a 2017 maxed out MacBook Pro. Man, I'm excited. But anyway, anyway, I'll tell you more about it in a second. Let me go in my car. I got some errands to run. And let's go into the intro. All right, guys, welcome back. I know it has been a minute, man. It has been a while since I've actually vlogged. About to sneeze. One second. Ah! Whew. Okay, I'm good. People have been asking, Chris, where the bleep have you been, man? And I, I've been here. I've been here. I've been coding. I've been working. I just, I don't know. I, after not vlogging for like a week or two, it, it was, was kind of hard to get back into the game of just vlogging. And I'm like, I didn't know what to talk about. My creativity in regards to what to think about in videos have gone away. Like it, it just, it takes a minute to get back into it. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I went ahead and I actually bought a hundred dollar gaming mouse called the Razer. I forgot what the name of the mouse was, but I'll put a picture of it here right now. And yeah, it was a Razer top of the line gaming mouse. I think it was like $100, the most expensive gaming mouse out there other than the wireless Razer Zone mouse that they have. Returned it and I was about to buy a monitor to help me code. It's nice to have two screens when you're coding. All right, man, it's hard to see me. Um, Let's fix this. Let's work. Okay, back. So, and I want to get a second monitor and I realized, you know what, I don't need it. I mean, it helps, it helps to have an extra monitor for learning code and everything to have two screens, learn code and another uh, monitor for just my text editor, but I'll deal with it right now. Just because you have the money doesn't mean that you always need to spend. That's actually something I wanna talk about today too, is that when you get into programming, what happens is that you actually end up spending way too much because you're not used to having this kind of income. I mean, I wasn't, I certainly wasn't, right? So, and I'll talk about that more, but anyway, so yeah, I went here and I was almost buying another monitor. Actually, I'm talking way too much already, man. But anyway, got the new MacBook Pro, but it is good to see you guys, man. It is good, it's good to be back. All right. Let's get in the road. energy drink this is not a sponsored video <laughs> anyway guys if you made it this far in the video then you're wondering why I consider a MacBook an Apple computer to be the best programming computer laptop today for people like you and me that was a very long sentence <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that when you do see this video that what I'm talking about right now is really my preference I think everyone has their own preference and why they would use an Android uh, not an Android a Windows computer a Mac People would rather have a Windows computer because a lot of people game There's more software out there available for Windows compared to Apple computers, right? So there's many different reasons But I want to tell you why I consider a MacBook Pro to consider to be the best programming laptop out there today now I did do a vote on YouTube and this is what a vote I did which is kind of crazy because I didn't realize that so many people would be voting on this it is insane it says that about 519 people actually voted um, on this on whether I should go for a Mac or should I go to a Windows computer because as some of you know I was actually on the verge of buying a brand new computer I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to the new MSI gaming laptop which would be perfect for video editing 
or stick with the new MacBook Pro that just came out recently. And it's kind of crazy, there was 519 votes on here. 519 people voted and it says about I believe 51-52% of everyone said stay with Apple <laughs> um, And now listen when I did buy this new MacBook Pro I did not save this MacBook Pro because of the votes I was just curious to see what people would think and there's a darn loud plane right now now one thing to note too is that when people do, people use Macs for many different reasons, some for video editing, some for just from writing or just because it's popular and to have a Mac shows that you have money or some status in life. Um, some people did that. For me personally, the reason I bought the MacBook Pro, the highest max out version when I first became a programmer, because for me personally, it was a sign to myself to show that I made it in the industry as a front-end developer. It was kind of like a status quo that you have one. Now, to me, it doesn't really matter anymore, but that's the reason I bought it in the first place. Now, there are a lot of videos out there talking about why a lot of programmers use MacBook computers and etc. But I'm not going to go off on just why everyone else says it. To be honest, I'm going to go off why I want to use a MacBook Pro and why I'm sticking with it today instead of going to a Windows computer. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Now, if you were to travel back in time, let's go back 17 years ago. When the first Apple computer, 17-ish or 18-ish years ago, when the first Apple computer came out, if you were to say that a MacBook or just Apple in general would be the main OS that people use or software that people use for programming today, or a lot of programs use today, you would call people insane. Um, like for example, before even OS X came out, who was the standard that, what is the computer that everyone used for making anything, software, websites, or whatever, right? The main thing that everyone used was just Microsoft. But you would have never imagined that Apple would be where it is today, which is honestly, I believe Apple is the biggest company in the world today. Another thing to note is that when you actually go to a tech conference or any conference in general, what people usually have out to take notes are Mac. Like you go everywhere, you look to your left, you look to your right, and you see that glowing Apple um, logo glowing everywhere throughout the tech conference. Why? because everyone uses it, but why it's so simple to use. But now, right, anyway, anyway, let's now get into why I think developers love using Macs for programming today and why you should use it too. So here we go. Number one reason, number one, it's not in any specific order. Number one, it's the, the Unix and command line is simply amazing. The Unix shell is extremely important when it comes to just to programmers in general. It lets you run programs in almost any language and you can do that without using any specific IDE. What many companies do is that they actually expect you or they want you to use a Unix based system. Now on the Windows uh, system, you have to make sure that you install Ubuntu. You have to make sure you have a perfect mirror or the server to be able to even access that both a Mac and make it so easy to do. Another reason why I want to stick to Mac is mainly because the build quality on Macs are honestly absolutely amazing. They are, are they are stunning. They last for a very long time. I bought my last my 2015 mid 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro maxed out. I'm at $1,800. I sold it for $1,400. I mean, I only lost $400 on that and used that to buy the MacBook Pro I have now. And like, it's it's insane. I mean, they don't go down in price by that much and you're able to use it for many, many years. And when I sold it, it was in perfect condition. So I can only imagine how much my current MacBook Pro will last. I mean, programmers are using a computer, a, a laptop for amount, how many amount, X amount of hours throughout the day. And to have something that can last a long time, something you can rely on is extremely important to programmers like you and I as well. Um, but now, honestly, one of the main reasons, like, I almost left my MacBook Pro for a PC is because I wanted to try out, like, gaming once in a while. I don't have time to do it, but to be able to do that once in a while on a high-end system and not have any lag because my, my computer isn't able to keep up is kind of nice, but I told myself, you know what, you have no time for this. You have to make sure that you control yourself. Gaming will only slow you down. You need to focus on what you need to do right now and don't let that stop you, right? Um, and honestly, one of my favorite things when it comes to MacBook or just Apple in general is simply the ecosystem. The fact that, you know, I'm, let's say for example, I'm searching something on Safari on my phone. I want to open up on my computer. I just go ahead and click that icon that pops up in the bottom left of my Mac. Click that, boom, and that same website where I was browsing on my phone is now on my MacBook. You, I leave my phone in my car by accident. I don't want to go back down or I can't. I'm in a meeting or I leave my phone at home. I'm totally fine. I can use iMessage to text all my friends and my families. Um, or about anything I need to get done because everyone, almost everyone has an iPhone today. Uh, the ecosystem, the fact that, you know, what I, I, my Apple AirPods, I left it at home, but I can literally connect, just literally open my Apple AirPods and I can connect to my, either my iPad, my um, Apple iWatch, right? My Apple Watch, I don't have an Apple Watch. If I had one, my MacBook or my iPhone, just like that. 
making it so easy to use. And what that is, I think is honestly one of the big things that Apple does with the consumers is that they make using the product so easy to the point that why would you ever want to leave Apple to go back to Windows or leave iPhone to go back to Android when they make everything sync so easily with the iCloud and everything like that. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, last but not least though, last but not least, one of the things I really love about Apple is Apple Care. Apple Care is honestly amazing. Let's say I break my phone because I have Apple Care. Guess what? I go to the Apple Store, return it, get a new iPhone. My MacBook Pro, if I have Apple Care because I do, if I break it, if it scratches or anything, there's something wrong with it, the, the screen breaks, bring in an Apple, they'll replace it just like that. And let's say if I go to Apple, right? I don't have to ship it anywhere. I go to Apple and let's say 2017 version broke. They don't have that version anymore. They'll give me the current year model equivalent to what I had in that same day simply because that's just how it works. I mean, Apple makes using their systems, their software, their computers so easy and user friendly. Like, why would you ever want to go away? And think putting this into consideration when I was this close to buying, I was literally at the store about to buy um, an MSI $1,800 computer. Um, I just thought about, I don't know if I could leave Apple. I don't know if I can't. And I ended up not doing it. And I think it was the best decision of my life today. <laughs> not of my life, but I can't believe I almost left Apple. Anyway, that's why. I'm gonna go ahead guys and end the video here. If you're on the verge of like going from Apple to Windows, leave a comment below. Or if you, well, what do you prefer? Do you prefer Apple over Windows? Do you prefer Windows? Tell me why, why would you do that? I still am considering buying another laptop and maybe in the near future. But let me know what you guys think below. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you like videos like this. Please like the video if you can. If you haven't, subscribe to get more videos like this. Love you all. Thank you for watching. This is Krishan. This is a Life Web Developer. And I'm out. Peace.